Welcome to the check-in report. Today, people are celebrating Obama, you know, with the hashtag all birthdays matter. You know, they're trolling Donald Trump and they're, you know, agitating the man. And, you know, I wanted to take this time out to speak about President Obama and the historic, because it was a historic presidency of Barack Hussein Obama. Okay, so... You know, let me just let me start with love. I have a lot of respect for this man, you know, to be the first, you know, um, person of color to hold the, 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 the presidency, to be the first, you know, person of color to 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 be the commander in chief of the country. That's something to be. That's something that's respectable and that's something that's admirable when you think about the historic you know, the, 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 when you think about the, you know, the, 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 the history of America, the history of how the country was founded, and for us to get to 2008 and have, you know, the first black president, you know, it was historic, and it was eventful. But I have gripes with Mr. President Obama, and I wanted to take the time out to speak about it because he has made statements in regards of the climate of what's going on in the country the George Floyd the Breonna Taylors and you know he he's commented in the past he's made comments about Trayvon Martin he's made comments about other you know people that you know tragically lost their lives to you know police brutality to racism and you know he's been spoke he's been spoken but he's been well spoken on those things but you know there's one thing to talk And there's another thing to actually have action towards those things. And I want to lay out my gripes. Because, you know, a lot of people like to shield this man. A lot of people like to cape for him. They're like, oh, man, black people love to cape for President Obama. But I want to lay out some things. What did President Obama actually do for Black people. And don't educate me on the, you know, my uh, my, my brother's keeper program. I understand that. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm aware of the, the, the that, that uh, foundation that he founded that, you know, a lot of people don't even know about. But what did he do in terms of legislation, in terms of laws, in terms of, you know, bills passed? He, he he went out of his way for the LGBT community. He went out of his way to get, you know, all of the things that they were asking for. He, he, he gave it to them. You know, he bailed out the corporations. But why didn't he bail out the black people that came out in doves to vote for him? Why didn't he bail them out? Because, you know, a lot of legislation is being passed now because the people are fed up. They're tired. But when this man held the mantle as commander in chief, where was his care for his people? Where was his love? You know, were, were y'all just, you know, just magnified and just, you know, just uh, mystified by him, you know, brushing off his shoulder, you know? Singing a little Al Green, so in love with you. Were, were y'all just, you know, just mystified by that? You know, you just, you saw what was in his hands, but you didn't see what was, he was hiding behind his back. Because under his presidency, the same, the same things that are occurring now, in terms of police brutality, in terms of racism, in terms of those things, they were occurring during his presidency. What did he do bill-wise, legislation-wise? Or did he just sit around, you know, on the mantle as commander-in-chief and just watch black people suffer while, you know, catering to every other community, catering to every other agenda, catering to the LGBT, catering to big corporation, catering to every other community, but the people that came out in doves emphatically the black vote was there for him 
I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I can't think of a black person that didn't vote for him in the, the first election, the 2008 election. Maybe the second election. Maybe people. A lot of people woke up, but that first election, the 2008 historic election. I don't know of any black person that didn't vote for him, but what did he do for those people that voted for him? Black people are crying out. They're suffering. They're talking about the injustices, the in the in the uh, the the the, 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 the you know just the racism, the inequality that is going on in America, that is running rampant in America, that the protesters are on the streets. Burning down precincts, burning down corporations, looting, robbing, protesting. Where was Obama for the Trayvon Martins? You know, he spoke out, he said things, but what did he actually do? Just like now, you know, he 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 um released a statement on the George Floyd situation on the George Floyd situation. Excuse me. And, you know, he had a lot of things to say and a lot of things, you know, he, he, he wanted to, you know, propagate a lot of things that he had to get off his chest. But what is he actually doing? Is he on the streets with the protesters? Is he, you know, is he in the trenches? Is he out there, you know, lending his hand, letting his voice be heard? Or is he, you know, cooped up in some, you know, house in Chicago, you know, with a hundred secret service wrapped around him and protecting him and why he's just, you know, typing on his computer. Oh, the social injustices in America. Like, what is President Obama doing in 2020 to help black people? Where is he? A lot of people anointed him as the new leader, as the new person, as the new face. But he was just a political puppet. That did nothing, I repeat, did nothing for black people. Nothing in terms of legislation, nothing in terms of bills, nothing in terms of reparations, nothing in, he, he never even, you know, put the, the, the um, put the, you know, the, the, the issue of reparations on the table. You know, way after his presidency, now we're talking about reparations. Now we're talking about police reform. Now we're talking about, you know, no chokeholds. Now we're talking about, you know, having communities be led by, um, you know, by uh, police reform throughout the, you know, f- from their communities instead of the police coming in with their organizations. Now we're having these talks. Why weren't, oh, why wasn't Obama leading the charge for these discussions, leading the charge. He was the face of hope. He was the face of change. But what did he actually do for the people that are crying out, that are protesting, that are looting, that are destroying federal, governmental, you know, police property, franchise property, The people that are crying out, what did he do during his eight-year term? And I'm True and Living. Thank you for joining me. Think about that for a second. What did Obama do for his eight years in the office? Thank you for joining me.